Hey everybody, welcome back. Now we are ready for earth carbon. Okay, someone was asking you, asking me what weight this carbon is. This is like 5 ounce, 5.5 I think they call it, something like that. And they sell it by the yard, which equivalates probably by the pound. You know, there's so many pounds in a yard, you know, but most places sell it by the yard. In fact, I don't know anyone that sells it by the weight. And it is expensive. See, and if we lay this down, Right on that back edge to where I don't have to trim that back edge. That works out just splendidly. Someone else asked why didn't I replace, uh, why don't I replace that phone with Kevlar? <laughs> Man, that'd be a bulletproof wing, wouldn't it? Good <laughs> man, that phone is for weight. <clears throat> you know, if I wanted to put five layers of carbon on here, I could make an endo-destructo wing. That's another word for you. Endo-destructo. That's the word of the day. You guys got to use endo-destructo ten times this weekend. <laughs> endo-destructo. The word of the day. It means indestructible. <laughs> uh, but we we don't we that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to make a strong light wing. <coughs> we go park pile in some Kevlar in there. It's going to be a heavy, strong, bulletproof wing that you can dig out of the ground and reuse on the next one because you crashed because it's too heavy. <laughs> you know, we ain't going to put any more resin on. We're just going to work this. We're not going to press super hard because we don't want to get our or juice out of them corners, you know. We just want to rub it down, make sure there's no air pockets underneath. Let some of that resin just ooze up. Then we'll give it a couple minutes and hit the light spots. Sometimes you just gotta give it a couple minutes to let that stuff wick up from the bottom, you know. Can't be in a hurry. Yep, we got plenty of working time. I just mixed up enough resin to do one side, so I ain't gonna try and hit that other side with the same batch. I'm gonna get this one all vacuum bagged down and then mix up some resin for the other side. Any extra resin we want to remove or spread around because 
we got a bunch of extra resin, man. We're just defeating our purpose because that resin is heavy. But yet again, we don't want to leave it needing more resin either. You just got to find that happy medium, that happy spot. and work into our pieces like this and try and push any of that extra thickened epoxy back into that corner around all the gear doors and servo covers just in case we might have spread it out you know So I know there's a bunch of extra resin there, but I don't want to gush my mixture out. Make sure that leading edge is saturated, man. We ain't gonna have no voids in this one, everybody. This one's gonna come out looking good. This way. I'll tell you five, four times. No one ever told me who originally said that. I tell you five, four times. Come on, I know someone knows. extra carbon. Alright, so we're going to need some extra resin there for sure. Now this is where our foam starts and the carbon inlet. <laughs> 